There's good news on COVID's front lines. The number of people in hospitals with COVID-19 has fallen below 50,000 for the first time in nearly four months. Infections have slowed, but still nearing 30 million. And deaths have reached 513,000. CBS's Lilia Luciano joins us from the hardest hit state, California. Lilia, good evening to you. Good evening, Jerika. The mood here is optimistic as COVID cases are finally starting to take a nosedive. The number of Californians in the ICU hasn't been this low since November, but people are still worried about what's next. LA County's COVID crisis is at a pivotal point. There are fears of the next surge as variants grow while cases slow. California's hospitalizations are down 64%, deaths down 45% in the last month, mirroring national numbers that may be leveling off. We have time to get a better toolbox for the fall to take care of these variants. The CDC sees the variant first identified in the UK as the top threat. The strain is confirmed in 43 states plus Puerto Rico and accounts for 10% of cases in the US. Still a reason for hope. One year after a COVID outbreak at a Washington state nursing home kickstarted the American pandemic. That county reporting for the first time zero new cases in long term care centers. In Miami, 55 year old Isabel Pupo defied science. She battled COVID for 150 days with oxygen levels doctors called unlivable. I actually told the family on numerous occasions that unfortunately, like she was going to pass away. She says it was God's miracle. Today, just 2% of the tests taken in L.A. County are coming back positive. That's down from 19% just a month ago. And here, it's a welcome break for very COVID-weary Angelinos. Jerika. Lilia Luciano for us, thank you.